Hey Gemini, what's going on? It's your girl D here to bring you your October 2020 reading. This is going to be the first one of the few uh, readings I'm going to bring you October. Um, if you're new to the channel, welcome. I post weekly. If you are returning, welcome back. Thank you so much for coming back again. For the new people, please hit that subscription uh, button and make sure you hit the notification bell. That way you'll know when I post for all your placements that you like to check. Um, and... If you are someone who's currently with the channel and you're not seeing my posts weekly, unsubscribe, refresh your screen, and then resubscribe and hit the notification bell. I've been told that that works. All right. So, um, Gemini, what is going on? Okay, so it's the first of the month. Um, this is the first reading of the month. So every time I do a new reading for the month, um, I talk to you about the planetary alignments. If you are interested in seeing... Um, that for September, you want to go back to the uh, Gemini 2020 playlist and then go to the first reading that's uh, labeled September. It'll be, it'll say Gemini, it'll say the title, and then it'll have September. So go to the first one um, because what I'm going to do is if you like this part of the reading, um, I'm only going to go over the changes that are going on for October. There's only three planetary changes that are going on for October. The rest of the planetary changes um, or the rest of the planetary alignments are still the same as they were for the first week of September. So I did go into detail of with all of them um, during the first September read. So that's why I said refer to that first September read if you want to know about all of them. All of them. Um, but I'm only going to do the three that have changed since September. So the first that we're seeing is Mercury and Scorpio. So Gemini, with Mercury and Scorpio, uh, Mercury is your ruling sign, I mean your ruling planet. And you know what that's all about. That's all about communication, baby. So <laughs> it's in the house of Scorpio. Now, Scorpio is the house of private feelings, private emotions, hidden motives. You know, um, if someone doesn't want you to know something about what they're doing, that's Scorpio energy. They're trying to keep it from you. Um, now, Mercury is going to be there for a bit. And what's even crazier is Mercury's going to be going in retrograde on October 13th, okay? We all know about Mercury retrograde. Mercury retrograde in the 8th uh, house is all about exposing those hidden feelings, emotions. So people are going to be coming back from the past, maybe telling you how they feel about you, you know, telling you things they felt that you didn't even know they felt. It could be friends that you have not seen in a while, um, it could be, um, you know, uh, family members that you've not talked to. You may have fallen off with friends, too. You could have fallen off with them, and, you know, they may be wanting to uh, reach out to you. Um, and it also could be lovers, okay? And it could be reversed. You may be thinking about these people, and they may be wanting to reach out to you. Um, you'll know when it's something significant when you think about this person repeatedly throughout the retrograde. If they come to your mind once or twice, it's like, okay, you know... That's just you remembering someone as far as, you know, maybe there was some type of feeling or emotion you had there or they had with you. But if you keep thinking about this person repeatedly, then there's something there that needs to be explored. Whether it's you thinking back in retrospect of what happened with the connection, what could also be going on is that person could be thinking about you too, okay? Now, just because someone thinking about you doesn't mean that they're going to reach out, all right? And just because you're thinking about someone doesn't mean you're going to reach out either, but it is possible with Mercury retrograde. So just be aware. Now, the retrograde is going to be going on um, throughout, uh, I believe, until November 1st, if I'm not mistaken. I, I'm going to have to get back to you on those dates, but it's definitely going to be going through the rest of October for sure in retrograde. Now, you know the rules to retrograde. You don't take anybody back when it comes to love. All right. You don't plan trips uh, out of the blue. You know, you plan it ahead and double check everything. And um, what else don't you do in Mercury retrograde? You just be careful, <laughs> you know, um, with communication. If you're going to text someone, make sure you're, the message that you're texting is going to the right person, especially with email as well. Make sure, you know, if you're texting your boo and you're sending their a sext message, S-E-X-T, make sure that's not going to, you know, your boss, okay? <laughs> double check. You know, don't type a message and then leave it and go about doing something else. Because with Mercury Retrograde, that message will send. And it might send to the wrong person. So be very careful with communication. Um, especially with technology during the Mercury Retrograde. Alright? 
So um, I'm thinking I might do videos for you guys on that. For those of you who've been with me for a bit, you know that I do videos for the retrogrades, but I had to slow down because it was too many goddamn retrogrades. And then 12 of y'all, you know, all the 12 signs. So we haven't had, um, I haven't did, I didn't do Mars in retrograde because that was just too much. I might do Mercury because a lot of people right now, you know, we're in 2020, a lot of karmic partnerships are ending and people are trying to come back. That should not be. So I might do it for you guys. Um, if not, I'll do something for you. Um, but the next planet that we have that we need to focus on as far as changes is, um, oh, and I forgot to tell you, Mercury went into Scorpio on September 27th. All right, and it's going to be direct until the 13th of October. But whenever a planet goes uh, retrograde, guess what? There's a pre-shadow stage. And effective today, I believe it was, it, we are in the pre-shadow stage of Mercury retrograde, okay? So you could be thinking about someone from the past. Someone could be thinking about you. All right, but hidden feelings and emotions. Also with um, Scorpio, that's the house of other people's money. Inheritances, it could be taxes, it could be wills, uh, wills. Uh, estates, trusts, probate court, and you know, with your energy there, the communication energy, um, you know, there could be con uh, communication about taxes. It could be communication about any of those things mentioned. For example, you may get a letter from the IRS saying, hey, you know, you only paid this much, you need to pay more. Or, hey, you overpaid, here's a refund. You know, um, you could be finding about out, about an inheritance that you had no idea about. Um, there could be a will, something about you in a will. It doesn't have to be, but these are the types of things that reveal themselves during Mercury uh, retrograde in Scorpio. All right, or Mercury in Scorpio, period. So, on to the next. The next planet, um, planetary change we got going on on October 2nd is Venus going into Virgo. Venus is all about love. It's all about the romantic part of love. Mars is about the sexual desire in love, um, if there's even love at all in Mars. Um, but... Venus is all about romantic, the romantic love, and it's in the house of Virgo. So what we're going to be seeing is um, Virgo deals with discipline. It deals with health. It deals with a public servant, you know, just being a, a servant-minded individual. So people are going to be catering to their lovers more, you know, showing their appreciation for their lover, um, you know, doing little things, creative things, maybe going out to eat more. People are going to be going out to eat more now that, you know, COVID is somewhat... Um, dying down so to speak um you know before we get really cold in certain parts of the uh, u.s so people are going out to eat more participating in um events that have to do with the arts um you know people are going to be decorating as well a lot of people decorating their apartments because a lot of people are moving or relocating and so now they're looking at the um the aspect of uh, making it feel like home so people going shopping for uh you know decorative pieces uh, and art, things like that. Um, public servants are really being acknowledged during this time as well. You know, our police officers, our firefighters, our, our doctors and our nurses. And speaking of health, you know, a lot of people are going to be checking on their health, making sure they're good to go. Um, they are going to be going to the doctors, getting all kinds of checkups, you know, making sure everybody's healthy. People are going to be eating better, you know, watching their figure, you know, just being more disciplined about what they're doing in reference to their health care routine. So we're going to see a lot of that. Um, and then we have, finally, Pluto is in retrograde in Capricorn. That's going direct on October 3rd, okay? So Pluto is the planet of... Um, is the planet of intensity. It's the planet of power, all right? Power struggles, when you think of, of, of Pluto. It could be power struggles internally with you and a bad habit versus power struggles externally with you and, you know, whomever. Um, but Pluto deals with that. It also deals with uh, death and rebirth. So a situation, you know, there's a, a saying called creative destruction, where, you know, you're trying to create something and as you're creating something new, death comes to what was previously there. So that is the energy of Pluto, creative destruction. Um, and it's in the house of Capricorn, which deals with your career, you know, and how people see you in your career. Uh, also how people see you, you know, just out and about, like you, your neighbor could be like, oh yeah, that's the guy who lives in the greenhouse. Or yeah, that's the lady who drives the blue bins. Um, you know, basically how people see you. Um, and it's also how you see yourself because it's about your moral compass. You know, what to you is enough? What to you is something that's like, no, I, I'm not going to do that. That is just something I am totally against. I'm not for that. You know, your moral and ethical compass. 
Okay, and, and Capricorn also deals with authority, the police, the government. So with Pluto there going direct, we're going to see a lot going on. You know, it's election year in the States. So we're going to start, you know, we're already seeing all of this going on with the propaganda, uh, you know, the Supreme Court justice. So we're going to be seeing changes like, you know, um, uh, rest in peace, uh, Ginsburg, Bader Ginsburg. She passed away um, and that's government authority. That's law. Um, and now they're looking to replace her. So, you know, death, rebirth. Okay, there's an, a prime example of what we're going to be seeing with the House of Capricorn and Pluto. All right. So just want to give you a little general rundown of what's going on with the planetary alignments and how we're going to be seeing that um, in our everyday lives. So moving on, we have the overall energy is conversations came out in reverse. We have foe. And we have letter. What is this? Is that letter? Jesus, I can't read. Yeah, letter, but letter came out in reverse. So, somebody's not communicating, okay? And with conversations in reverse and letter in reverse and foe in the middle, there's, there's um, an energy of someone who, like a foe is somebody who is, you have to watch them. You know, because you don't know what they're up to is is more so of a foe. Because in this deck, there's also an enemy card, too. So this is not necessarily an enemy who's out to get you, but more so a foe, as in somebody who's watching you, sizing you up for whatever, and you, you're not really sure what it is. And that's that Mercury and Scorpio energy. You know, someone could be around you, like a Mercury and Scorpio person, they could be around you, and you would never know how they really feel about you. Like, you could have a best friend who's a Mercury and Scorpio, and that best friend could have had a crush on you since you guys were 12 years old, and you may have never known it. And with Mercury going retrograde in Scorpio, you may find this out. So that's an example of what goes on with Mercury and Scorpio, and then what goes on with Mercury, Scorpio, in retrograde. Okay? Hidden feelings and emotions being revealed. So I feel like here there's no communication with this person, uh, but I feel like somebody's being watched. Like this faux card reminds me of someone being watched. Like they're watching someone to see if they're going to approach them because I feel like there was a falling out between you and this person, which is why you guys are not conversating, why you're not talking. Um, there may have been a falling out, some past issues, um, but letter is in reverse, meaning that this person is not communicating. All right. So just watching, I feel OK, trying to see if they, you know, trying to gauge you to see. So we have house as the current situation Cur clarified with uh, fortune. Hmm. So I feel like with this energy here, currently, Gemini is like you are some of you could be moving. OK, because a lot of energy, there's a lot of energy about moving because um, Sagittarius is your opposite energy. Um, but I feel like that was a side note. Forgive me. I digress. But I feel like some of you are moving. Some of you may have come into some money and you may be moving. Um, or what could be happening is, like I said, with the full card, I feel like somebody's watching. So somebody could be watching you. They could see that you're doing well. And they could be watching you. Like they could be outside your house, which is really freaky, you know, just watching you. Because they may want to communicate with you. This could have been someone that you are no longer on good terms with. It could be a family member. It could be a, a former best friend of like 10 years. It could be a ex-lover, you know. Um, it could be an ex-business partner. Somebody that you had an emotional connection with because we're dealing with Scorpio, emotional connections. Um, and somebody has hidden feelings that they're not revealing. Now in the past we have the service card. And in the recent past, we have Dr. Energy. So I feel like, hmm, the service card in the past. This is like somebody who's, you know, very generous to this person, very kind to this person. Um, when the connection was good, this was someone who was good to this person, okay? So you could have been really good to this person, okay? Um, in the more recent past, what could have happened is... Um, there could have been a falling out, which is because you guys stopped talking. So with this console card here, if you take a look, you see the doctor here is testing this person's temperature. It's like, are you okay? You know, 
Um, there may have been conversation that occurred between you two and it may be where it's like, okay, I feel like something's up. I don't, I feel like something's wrong with this person. Like here, the doctor's like, something's wrong with her. You know, I'm taking her to, like, she could be there telling him what's going on and he's looking at her like, okay, well, let me take your temperature. Let me see how you're doing. So I feel like this is, um, synonymous with you and this person talking and you're looking at this person like something is not right with you. You know, I don't know what you're hiding. I don't know what's up with you, but something is not right. Okay. Um, this could also be that this person wants to test your, they want to reach out to you with the conversation card in reverse and the, um, the letter card in reverse, but they, they may feel like you're looking at them as if they're an enemy. Okay. And so they could be watching you, watching your home. Okay. To try to get a gauge on if they should reach out to you and if you will conversate with them. Okay. That's what I'm feeling here. Um, but the fortune part, I feel like they see that you're doing well. They see that you're doing well. And the crowning energy here for you is gifts. So I feel like this person, um, I feel like you're doing well. Okay. Look at all that on the table. You're doing well financially is what I'm feeling here. Now in your fears, or this could just be this person. So this person... They could be looking at you. Their crowning energy is gifts. Now, I don't know if they're looking at you to take opportunity. I feel like that's what's going on here. They see you doing well. They're watching you at your house. They're, they're not communicating with you because you guys had a falling out. And they could see that you're doing well. Okay? And um, I feel like in their hopes... I'm sorry. In their fears, we have hope reversed. So in their fears, they're fearing that if they reach out to you you know, that this is not going to work out as far as you two reconnecting. Um, there's no hope. Their fear is that you have no hope in them. You don't believe them. You don't believe in the connection. And um, I feel like there's reason, but let's see what comes up. So how they see you is the surprise card in reverse. This is how they see you. So... They don't want to surprise you. They don't want to, they don't, they don't want to be caught off guard. Hmm. If someone doesn't want to, okay, so this is not a surprise. So the way they see you is that they're not surprised. So maybe they're not surprised to see that you're doing well. Um, the surprise in reverse could be the fact that they don't want to, um, Maybe they were thinking about surprising you and maybe they're thinking that that's not a good idea because they may feel like you may turn them turn them away. So maybe they were thinking about bringing you a gift and surprising you, but maybe they're thinking, nah, that's not the case. Maybe I shouldn't do that. I feel like this person may want to send you something. They may want to send you a gift or send you money. That's for some of you. For others of you, they could be watching you because they see you're doing well and they don't want to surprise you or startle you. Maybe they don't want you to know that they're watching, which is why... The surprise card came up in reverse. Now, in your hopes, I feel like you just want consistency in, in the connection that you had with this person. You wanted consistency. You wanted them to show up like they said they were going to show up and be on time like they said. Do what you say you're going to do. That's what consistency is. Well, constancy. Constancy. As in, you know, don't come and then disappear and then come and disappear like in and out energy. Be there if you're going to be there. And so the outcome here is a possible reunion. See, this person wants to reach out to you. They're watching you. They want to reach out. Now, in the immediate future here, we have the hoitiness card in reverse. So when this card is upright, this is about someone who has ego, who has pride. But it came out in reverse in the immediate future. So I feel like this person is going to put their pride and their ego down. And they're going to reach out to you and tell you how they feel. Hence, Mercury and Scorpio. So this is what I'm feeling here in reference to this energy. What I do want to clarify in the extended is the gift and the fortune. Okay, because I know this person is watching you. Now, I don't know if this person is watching your house because they know where you live. 
or if this person wants to reconnect with you because they want you to come move with them. Maybe they come into some money. We have gift and fortune. Perhaps this person has come into some money and they want to be kind to you because in the past with the service card, you were kind to them. Um, this service card to talk to me about being hospitable. Okay, so for example, say you had a friend who needed a place to stay. You were that person to them. You were very kind to them. You were hospitable to them. You, you looked out for them in some way. And this is why they are looking to reunite with you. Okay? The way they feel about you is like, this person is a good person. This person was good to me. They were kind to me. I don't like the way things happen. I don't like that we're not talking. You know, and I don't like this... I don't like the fact that we're not talking. This faux energy, again, just reminds me of someone who's watching you to see, you know, what's going on with you. They could be watching you to see if you're involved with someone else before they reapproach because they do want to reunite if this, is a, if this is a lover's connection. This could be family member or friends, okay, watching you to see what's going on, to see if they could reach out, wanting to test the temperatures, because this is where they, in the recent past, this is what they were thinking about you. I want to test the temperatures. I want to see if I could reach out to this person. But they're afraid because they feel like, you know, you may not have hope or belief in the situation. And I feel like with this surprise and reverse energy, if you deny them or turn them down, they won't be surprised by it. Because they're already in the mindset that you're not going to reunite with them. But the goal and the outcome for them is to reunite with you, you know. But I feel like your argument with them is constancy. Like you need to be consistent. You're inconsistent. And I feel that might be an energy of someone, like I said, with your energies, Gemini, um, I feel that there's somebody who's going between, back and forth between two lovers, two to three lovers. This is also a scenario here where you got somebody who has like a roster. All right, let's just get down and dirty. Somebody has a roster and they have three or four people in this rotation. And I feel like they rotate between these people, you know, every couple years or what have you. So they'll be with one for two or three years and then shit goes to hell with them and then they'll go to the other one. They'll be with them for two or three years, shit goes to hell, then they'll go to the next one. You know, and the cycle repeats and there's like two or three people that this person has in their, what you call their roster. Okay, this is the player talk here, right? So I feel like this is what's going on here. So yeah, you not talking to this person, okay? They're watching your ass and there's no communication with you. They're thinking about sending the communication, but they haven't yet. They're trying to see what's going on with you. They're watching you at your house. I feel like they know where you live. They're watching you. Uh, for some of you, you used to live with this person, okay? So they, they, you were good to this person. My concern is what is this gift about? And also, what is this fortune about? Is this person coming back because they see you doing well and now they want to they wanna take advantage and get in, you know, because you're one of the ones on their roster. So it's like, oh, how's such and such doing? Oh, okay, I'm watching them online. I'm watching them. I know where they live. Let me see if they're still outside their house. Let me, if, I, if they're not in the area and their people live around, they'll say, hey, see if, you know, have you seen such and such or whatever? You know, they might be asking people about you. Um, if they're in the area, they might be driving past your house to see, you know, what's going on. And if they are and they see what's going on with you, they see that you're doing well with this fortune energy. Now they may try to come in with a gift or they could be doing well and maybe they want you to move in with them. I don't know. We're going to find out in the extended. So the link's in the box below. All right. If you don't, um, the link in the box below is to the Patreon membership. It's $5 a month and you get to see all of the extended videos that I posted for every sign since I've been posting in Patreon. All right. That stuff is unlimited. You have access to it just for five bucks a month. Um, if you are someone who doesn't want access to all that, you just want access to this one extended, reach out to me at 8 energy at gmail.com. Let me know that you just want um, access to whatever one extended that you want. And um, it'll be the same price. It'll be five bucks. Um, and I will send you the link. All right. And you get to see the extended. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead over to the extended. The link's in the box below. Make sure you subscribe. If this resonated, please click the like button. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell. That way you'll know when I post for all your placements. I'll see you in the extended Gemini or I'll see you in the next reading. Peace out.